Ableton Live is great for triggering loops. Obviously, Session View is really great for that, but if you have a limited MIDI controller, for example, an external drum pad, which only sends out a few MIDI notes, um, limitations are coming really soon. So, for example, if you sync stuff in uh, the Session View, uh, let us quickly do this. You can just uh, go into MIDI map mode and map those different loops to your drum pad or to an external MIDI controller. So if you now want to have those being played on the same time, you need um, a track for every um, loop. So you can actually do this a different way, especially with drum controllers who are um, limited. Um, there is a much nicer way you can actually loop drums in a drum rack. So let us just um, set this up quickly for one loop. So we can drag and drop a loop in here and Ableton Live will automatically create a uh, simpler device here. And you need to set the simpler device to classic loop. You want to switch off the snap function, turn down the decay and turn down the release and if you want the loop being played and being synced to the master tempo up here you need to warp it and if you do this with a uh, drum controller now you can hear what's happening not much even if you are seeing the uh, loop here is being triggered um, it's not being played because the drum controller usually is set to send a note off signal straight after the MIDI note in. For that purpose, I created the drum rack toggle loop device, which lets you actually do this. So this device is um, the same like a drum rack. You have um, the slider here where you can select the different 16 uh, always 16 uh, patches or 16 note ranges here, 16 notes I mean in pitch. So C1 to up to D sharp 2, which would be the same like here, C1 to D sharp 2. So now if you're pressing this button, you can do this um, just on here as well. It will send um, a note on and then a note off when you click after it again. So let's quickly do this. <laughs> So the loop is playing and now when I'm pressing again, it stops. So now I can actually play my drum pad. Hit it once, the loop will play. And when I hit it again, the loop stops. So this way I can set up up to 128 loops um, and access 128 loops in here. And especially if my drum controller is um, only uh, limited in MIDI pitches or pitches, MIDI note pitches I can send in, I can just easily uh, change the pitch in front of the drum rack here. So the notes I'm sending out or the notes, the trigger, the fields I'm triggering here, um, gonna be more. <laughs> 